Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video, I am so happy to bring to you the release date and details for Dissidia Final Fantasy NT, the PlayStation 4 version of the arcade Dissidia Final Fantasy over in Japan. Yesterday, Square Enix announced that January 30th, 2018 would be the official North American, I'm assuming, European release date, and uh, we've got a bunch of details in this article right here. Uh, Nova Chrysalis, again, go to the source of the video every time we, we borrow an article from another website, Go to the source of the video, give them traffic, because they're awesome. So, let's go over the details, the special edition, season pass, and uh, whatever we can get out of this article right here. So, Square Enix announced that while it will be launching on January 30th, 2018, it's still going to launch 19 days earlier in Japan. Which is a little strange, considering... The, I don't know, I don't know why we can't... I don't know why this game can't achieve a global launch at the same time, or at least a near global launch to some degree. Uh, I can maybe understand there's sometimes a three-day difference between North America and Japan for launch dates, but uh, it is what it is, you know. Uh, we know there's a season pass that's going to be offered. I really don't think anyone's surprised by that. It's a fighting game. By the time we get it, I don't even know how many characters there are number-wise right now, but there we know that they want like 50 characters in total by the end of the game's life cycle. So it would it's just no surprise that there will be a season pass, probably one that as new characters are launched, we'll probably have those updated into the game with the season pass. Now included in the product uh, product description, which we should probably come back to and uh, and check out exactly what that says word for word, um, console version is going to have competitive online matches, custom lobbies for friends, offline matches versus AI, and training mode. Now from what I recall, they did say they were working specifically on a story mode for the PS4 version as well, although that is not listed in those four things, it has been a point of discussion in the past. Um, in this version, you also receive experience points for your characters and gill, which you can use to gain skills and customize the character whether or not that's going to affect online play i'm unsure it's not made 100 percent clear um you have the steel book now we have the different editions for the city of final fantasy nt so first we have the steel book brawler edition customers who pre-order from participating retailers receive one of three limited edition steelback designs at random so those of you who want to collect all the steelback editions yeah you're probably either going to go online and buy them afterwards or you're gonna be you're gonna be playing uh, Steelbook Roulette is from what uh, what I can see right here. It just has a bunch of different heroes and villains on it. You could see Kefka, you could see X Death, Sephiroth, you have Squall. I could see Titus. Yeah, so they're just all over the place. Which one will you get? Um, then for the digital edition, uh, which is obviously just you know no box, just the digital edition and digital deluxe. Uh, fans interested in digital only can pre-order it from the PlayStation Store to instantly receive a mini soundtrack featuring five songs plus access to the nameless warrior character skin for the Warrior of Light. The digital deluxe edition also includes the season pass. Now the season pass content seems to be detailed right here. Let me fix that on your screen. Uh, season pass content, six additional playable characters include standard costume and weapons, color variation of the costume for each of the six characters, additional weapons for the six characters mentioned. So considering it's only six characters for the season pass, I can't imagine that this, that the city of Final Fantasy will have reached that about 50 character mark by the time not only this comes out, but by the time that the season pass is over. So a part of me kind of wants to think that that's only one season pass. I, I can't confirm that. That's just speculation at this point. But just based on... It, it's considered speculation. Don't 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 think too hard into it. That's just my initial uh, thoughts going into the what's in the actual season pass. And then we have holy moly. I guess I know the edition I'm getting. The ultimate collector's edition, uh, which is 189.99 US dollars, exclusive from the Square Enix online store. It comes with obviously the game, the season pass. It comes with the Warrior of Light bust figure, which is just over eight inches tall, so it's not super big. You can fit it on your desk. Uh, official soundtrack with 15 tracks from the Dissidia series and newly recorded music. An 80-page hard uh, hardback art book. The season pass, which gives access to the six new playable characters post-launch. Steelbook case unique to the UCE. So that's four steelbook cases now. And the collector's box featuring legendary Final Fantasy characters. Considering the bust is only uh, eight, eight inches tall, it, it better be high quality for around 190 bucks. Because I guess with the soundtrack and the art book, I guess I'm not really all too surprised price at the price tag but that is indeed a hefty price tag so i did say i wanted to kind of check to see the uh, product description real quick um we could just grab that off the screen store 
Uh, is there anything else here? More information. Over 20 playable character Final Fantasy Legends to play. Over 10 iconic battle arenas, legendary summons. A mode for every player, whether it's competitive online matches, uh, custom lobbies for friends. Uh, after each battle, the players will receive experience points and gill. You can customize. Hmm. Bravery Combat System allows a much deeper and more methodical approach to fighting games and separating luck from skill. The way to win is to garner bravery points. Okay, and that's just an explanation of how the game works. So, um... I'm a little, uh, I, it doesn't say anything, but it does say there will be a lot of modes, so. Story mode, they've mentioned it before, it'll probably be there anyway. But anyway, I, <coughs> I needed to cough, and I was trying to inhale, so it sounded like a puppy begging for a few seconds there. Um, anyway, on that note, I have to get ready for my live stream this morning, so thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share. And by the way, I remember somebody mentioning something about closed beta access. Do you get closed beta access? If you pre-order any of this stuff, is there is there anything on that? Closed, closed. No, it only says that over on the side. Hmm. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the closed beta is going to be starting August twenty sixth. So if you haven't done your signups in North America, you still have some time left to do so. So be sure to do that, and I will see you online. I'm free. Don't worry. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care.